Today we're going to continue on with my Carbide Create Pro training video, part two, and we're going to move into modeling. So some of the Carbide Create Pro skills we're going to use are Model Tab, the Merge Type Add, and Merge Type Subtract. We're going to do Height Limits with a Limit Height and a Scale Height, and we're also going to play with the Shapes, Round, Angle, and Flat. On the right, you can see some of the examples that uh, we'll be going to show at the end. Okay, we're going to jump right in and start doing our modeling. And so the first thing we need to do in modeling is that we, we're going to go to the model tab and look at that. And uh, we notice we have one, two, three, four icons right here at the top. Uh, the first one is uh, modeling on the modeling tab is the add shape then we can import images or we can import stls or we can export reliefs we're going to mostly we're going to work in the add shape and so what we'll be doing here is our goal is to build raised level or 3d components that sit on top of our design uh, by um, clicking on the design project vectors uh, from there, uh, that'll we can build components, and each one of those components will tell it how to model it. So when we look at our, our, our design here, we've got uh, some shapes in here, and um, I just threw those in for the heck of it. So we're going to highlight um, these four shapes here, and we're going to add to it. Um, actually, let's just highlight these top three, and then we're going to come over to... Uh, offset and we're going to apply a model and then we're going to apply another one. So now we've got some extra stuff on here. Um, now important to note before we get going too far is as we build this model we will not be able to move it. It will, it will be locked into the position. So you, I have chosen as my center point here and you'll, you'll will not be able to move it on, on, the, on the board here. And so the other thing good is to go ahead and save your design as a design document and then maybe save another one, a new one as a model one. That way you can always get back to your design. To start in on the modeling tab, when we click on the model, all of that design stuff jumps over here, but there's no model started in this area. So we have to add something. So we're going to jump on and we're going to highlight the outside of each one of these four shapes. Now whatever we do to these shapes, because we have them all highlighted, is going to be the same. So I'm going to start in by adding a flat shape. I'm going to make it an inch tall and we'll go ahead and name it as base and flat. And it's one inch and it's an add. And I do that because um, once, I, once I close this out, I will not be able to, to see any of this. All I'll be able to see is the name, the merge type, and the height. So I won't be able to see any of this up here. So I try and get in the title. That way it'll help me remember what it looks like. <clears throat> so I hit add. It turns dark, which means that, it, that it's climbing in height. Now I have something on the board. And so you can see I've got it in here. Um, and the darker the grayscale, the higher in this one, the lighter, the lower. <clears throat> so now we've got something to play with. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one. I'll go back to showing it make sure they're still highlighted like we wanted hit done so now we're going to come into the next level and we'll throw in a, another <clears throat> we'll throw in another model and we'll do a round and we're going to do an inch so that'll push us right up to the top of our material so it's going to be layer two and it's going to be at a 45 and it's going to be an inch and it's an add all right, so we'll apply that, and there it is. So now we have that shape on top of this one right here. Um, and it again, it follows the contour of the layer below it. So we've got that saved, and then we're going to go back to here, make sure it's still highlighted, and we'll hit done. Now I'm going to, this is how I layer them, enable, label them, but for time's sake, I'm going to speed up here, and I'm not going to layer, uh, name them. So I'm going to jump to the next layer here. I'm going to add, and we'll add a, um, <clears throat> we'll do another um, flat. We're going to go um, 0.75, and we'll add. So then we'll see what that looks like. And added, added a square level on top of that. So 
so we'll close that out we'll go into the next inner layer here we're going to come up here to add shape we're going to do um, a flat we're going to do um, 2.5 inches and we're going to do a subtract so now it's going to subtract that layer and show so now it's got a hole all the way through the bottom now that white layer shows we went out the bottom all right so i'll jump back close close that come to done we'll go down to the next one here and we'll do a, an add and this time we're going to add an uh an angle and we'll do um, two inches and we'll see what this looks like component add and let's go ahead and throw this at 75 degrees to get a nice steep angle on it and there we go and you see well that's interesting uh, so this is a nice steep angle um, we only intended to add two inches so we know it should have come out of the top but um, uh, that's uh, all that red there says we're way out of the top so let's come back to one inch see what happens so it dropped down a little bit in height so let's uh, go back to our area here we'll highlight again our area and we'll come back over to here and we'll do a scale we'll do a limit height see what happened okay so what happened here is when we put in limit height is it went up to uh, one inch plus one inch and then we have our angle at 75 degree but it flattened off the top so let's see let's go back make sure we're highlighted here and we're going to do a scale height to see what happens when we do a scale height so apply and show and so now what it's trying to do is it, it's saying all right instead of flattening it let's contend our shape up and down to see if um, and so we'll go as high as we can hit the two inches and come back down let's just throw in a round here to see what happens with the round so we'll change it from an angle to a round and see it, it flattened it and it's still staying under the two two inches and we'll put in a limit height we'll see what happens and you can see that it flattened off the top like it's supposed to so um, so this is how this is working now let's go back and I want to try something kind of a little off base here um, so we'll hit um, um, we'll go back to our other area done and I'm gonna highlight this bar going all the way through here and we're going to add a, a flat shape to that bar. I'm going to make it uh, an inch and we're going to add and we're going to see what it looks like. All right. So it's kind of interesting. And this is what I was trying to do earlier. The bar that I add <clears throat> is if it's a straight bar all the way across, but it follows the contour of what's above it. So I added a bar here. It's going to be an inch on top of it and then it's going to come up. To try and match the other surface but it's again an inch so it's poking out of the top here it comes back down here it comes back down to the, the flat level and so it follows the contour of the layer below it and so um, we can do a uh, you can't do a flat on this one because the, the, the uh, scale limit because flat bar doesn't allow you to do that but that's kind of what's going on so let's go ahead and hit done We'll come back here and we'll hike this here when, and we'll do something with that one just to see what we can do. So we'll do um, well, we'll do another round and we'll do uh, an inch and we'll do a subtract. All right. So something happened there. And you can see there's a, a, a dent to the top of it. So that's what that does. So we... Uh, we took out of that square and again when we look at it the new shape is going to match this square it's going to try and round out the bottom but it has to get to the corners so it's around this way and around that way um, so that's that's how that works now let's jump down here to subscribe and we're going to do a uh, insert and we'll do a round and we'll just do we'll push it all the way up to the top um, do an add and we'll see what it looks like so now we've got a nice nice little pillow top on there and so um, I'm happy with that <clears throat> now we could change 
this, we can see what the scale limit does. Probably won't do too much because we didn't go above, we didn't go above the inch. So didn't didn't do too much because we're only at two inches and there was plenty of room for that. All right, so um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back. We're going to say done, and we're going to highlight these letters that say subscribe. And you can do that if you would like. So we'll hit subscribe. We're going to add another one. We're going to try and uh, we'll do a round 45. We'll do an inch, which means it's probably going to pop out the top. And we're going to do an add. And then we're going to go look at it. And so you can actually see the letters on top. And they are poking out a little bit. Um, let's make them show up a little bit by doing a subtract. And we'll just do three inches just to see what happens. So now we're going to take them out. And so you can see it dented, it dented them in. So if we do a flat, fly and show, so it carves them out but you can see the top still uh still following them around and it, it takes them all the way out on the bottom so we'll just do a uh, an add and you can change these as you like and so it does it but you can see the subscribe on the top follows follows the contour below I mean we're way right way out of the top so um, there are some other features in here which we'll get to on the next video but this pretty much covers everything. Let's see if we've got everything covered so far. Um, um, so um, holes in white in the bottom means you're out the top. Red means you're um, out the top. White, white clear means you're out the bottom. Um, if you, what you do to, if you highlight more than one shape, is it will happen to all the shapes as you highlight. So if you, uh, hi like I, earlier, I'd highlight all three. Whatever I do to all three, if they're highlighted, um, will happen to all three. So now we're going to move on to a couple of quick examples and we'll close up for this video. So starting up here at the top, uh, we rounded this shape here just a little bit and then we made a, an angle coming out of the top and you can see it's too tall so that'll have to be scale limited. I uh, don't know why but it seems I've made a little bit of a putt-putt golf course that you could hardly miss on. But this is too low, it's going through the bottom. Now this is to demonstrate that if you highlight the outer ring and the inner ring and then you apply model, it will affect it between the two rings. Uh, this one over here is to show that um, whatever kind of shape you make, um, I've got a dome on the whole thing, I've got some coming up, some going down. Uh, you can see it's poking through on the bottom some, but I put text like me on top and it matches the contour of what's below it. That's why it's poking through in some places not. So that's that's critical. Everything you build will be matching what's below it. And here's just an example of some additional things you can do. I've got a, this is a contour shape and these matched and followed it. And then this is too high. Um, and then there's a hole in the middle. Uh, this one is to show how you can use the widgets that I'm making and there's a whole uh, video on that. So the widget is this ramp here and again it's too high but you can trim that back down. I kind of did that to make these snakes head high. So this is just a snake that I did and it apply I dropped this widget on top of the snake figure and that's what it looked like. So here's what the snake looks like. Here's the snake, and I drop this widget on top of it, and and uh, that's what it pulled out look like. So that'll be it for uh, this video. Thank you for watching the video. Here's some additional resources. Hopefully, we'll have another video soon. Please subscribe and like if you found this useful.